Hello, this is Klaassen Born, and this is how to complete the Relics Emanations quest in WoW Classic TBC. Phase 2 of Classic TBC has dropped, and with it came two new factions to rep grind. On your way to unlocking Ungrilla's dailies, you may have already completed the Apex's Relic quest, but have gotten stuck here with the Relics Emanations. I can tell you why. But let me get everyone up to speed. This quest essentially asks you to play a game of Simon Says. Grab an Apexus shard from a mob or a crystal in the Blade's Edge plateaus and head to one of the small Apexus relics. Click on the relic and use the shard to begin the minigame. The relic will then strike one of four colored buttons with lightning, red, green, blue, and yellow, in an increasing sequence. You must then click the corresponding buttons in the same pattern. A simple way to remember the pattern, particularly in the later rounds, is to whisper yourself the order as it appears using the first letter of each color. For example, if round 5 was blue, blue, green, yellow, green, then simply whisper B, B, G, Y, G. But you already knew that, and you weren't having issues pressing the wrong buttons, which shocks you for a substantial amount of damage. You got to round 7. And suddenly, some Fire Nova effect happened, and clicking on the button now opened a cast bar, and if that cast bar finished, the device shut off. Well, guess what? They added an additional mechanic that happens only starting in the seventh round, preventing you from completing this quest that becomes one of the vastly important dailies. Apparently, this was a change that happened in Legion, though I've been unable to find footage for it, which is why I'm making this PSA. Anyways, to the matter at hand. Starting in round 7, you need to keep an eye on the Fire Nova effect that periodically discharges from the relic. You will also notice that when the effect is active, the button will change to Relic Discharger instead of Colored Cluster. If you do accidentally click the discharger, simply cancel the cast by moving and resume clicking the same button when it has dissipated. If you need to click two different colors in a row, then you have time in between Fire Novas. However, if you need to click the same color in a row, then you only have time for one. Uh, after it's been clicked, a button becomes inactive for a short time before it can be pressed again. Also, as far as I understand it, you are free to ignore the dings from the relic. I thought that was a time limit, maybe it is, but you have plenty of time to enter the sequence. Instead, it is far more important to avoid clicking the wrong button or clicking the right button at the wrong time. But whisper the order, click the right buttons at the right time, complete round 8, and you'll complete the quest. The game will continue for two more rounds, but it will only increase the duration of the movement speed bonus only active in the plateaus. Do note, you must drop any existing rank of the buff before you begin in order to get progress for the quest. But that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. I've been loving playing a ton of Classic TBC, and, but I've found it hard to make any videos about a game as thoroughly researched as this. But I found any videos on this quest tended to be four to seven years old or were released before phase two and didn't have anything about that new effect. Uh, thanks again and enjoy the grind. Uh, by the way, side note, there's a group that completes the, the four-person relics emanation right next to me, which is why I get the quest complete uh, a round early, so just ignore that. That's... Just, yeah.